kids room clutter it is like a real thing and in my son's room with all of his shelves while i love them they get super cluttered super fast so i want you to come along and declutter with me as we organize and declutter my son's bedroom so we're in my son's bedroom and typically i have him kind of like come help support throughout this entire process because this is his room but for the purpose of this video, I am doing it today. I have very specific instructions from him as to what I can and cannot declutter. And so I'm gonna be following those rules, but I highly recommend doing this entire process with your kids because it is their space. You never want them to like come into a space and be like, oh my God, what did you do? You really want like this to be a joint effort until they, they are able to do this on their own. But for the purpose of this video, I am going to be walking you through decluttering. So first thing that I typically recommend is clearing off all of the shelves, like get everything completely off all of the shelves. And then we're going to talk about what to do after that. So let's get declutter cleared. Once everything is removed off of your shelves, give it a good cleaning. Make sure to dust everything because there is no point in putting your stuff back on a shelf when it's full of dust. So give yourself a clean slate and make sure to wipe your entire shelves down in your kid's room. Okay, so now the shelves are all clean. All the stuff is on the floor except for some of these bigger pieces and I want to talk a little bit about space planning. So space planning is just when you kind of like figure out a way in which to plan out where things are going to go. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. So one thing that goes into space planning is thinking about how the play, the space is being used. So for my son, a lot of his Lego creations are stored here in his bedroom on his shelves. So his door is right there. Because his door is right there, these two spots are perfect for holding, you know, the items that he likes to play with or build more with and then bring them back upstairs. So from a space planning perspective, moving these items to a further spot on the shelf is actually going to help significantly when it's time to clean up. So I'm going to move these items. I'm also going to adjust some of the books again to make these shelves more accessible since the door is right there and it'll be easier for him to bring in the items when he's done playing with them or if they don't fit downstairs where we store a lot of our Legos. The Legos he stores up here are really like the big ones, you know, like the Technics. He likes his Ninjago up here, his Star Wars up here. That way they don't get played with by anyone else, meaning his sister but that way they are safe in his bedroom and he doesn't have to worry about somebody else like touching them, breaking them, all of that kind of stuff. So I wanna use these shelves for that purpose. So we're gonna move these over now and I'm also going to move the books. So now the remaining items, we just get to go through and figure out like what should go on these main shelves. These main shelves are going to be the items that he uses a lot. So those are going to be things like his Star Wars because he loves playing with his Star Wars Lego sets. I do also have another Ninjago Lego thing that he's made. So I'm going to put that with the Ninjago Village thing. I don't know what they're called. Um, we also have trophies. Uh, make sure to dust off items too, like as you're picking them up and putting them on shelves, make sure you dust them off, like especially these trophies. Y'all know I'm not a fan 
of participation trophies, but my son loves them, so we keep them. Um, if your kids don't like them, they're taking up space, donate them. There are lots of organizations that cannot afford trophies, and they will gladly take these from you because it's easy to peel this thing off and put something else on. So we're going to start putting our items away uh, based on knowing that the door is right there. So we're space planning for how my son can effectively bring his stuff in, clean it up, and that kind of thing. Also, with some of his sports paraphernalia, I make sure that we have uh, holders for these. This ball he was given as the MVP pitch hitter for his baseball game. So that one obviously has to be displayed. We also have other holders that, you know, I love using them for sports stuff because it keeps, it preserves the balls or hockey pucks. I have all of my favorite bedroom organization products listed down below. These are linked as well. I love these holders because it just, they take up less space. You don't have all of these like baseballs or basketballs or all these things rolling around. They have a nice spot on your shelf. Okay, so let's get cleaning everything up, putting everything away. So I'm putting the items that he just likes to display up on the top. These are the things like this Titanic replica that he built. He does not play with it. He just likes it being displayed. So the display items go up on the top. Over here, I also think I'm going to do some more display items that he has um, just because they don't need to take up space here where it's easy to bring in his Legos from outside. So here we have Star Wars. So we can start with the Star Wars. I'm going to place this one here. Now I have one more shelf and in it or on it, I'm going to be putting um, this bin, which is just kind of like, he has poppets, he has other kind of little like tchotchke things. Um, so this bin he uses a lot, which is why it's going to go here closest to the door. We also have some bins. This one is for his rock and fossil collection. This is an OXO container. Um, I like it with the lid because then we don't have to worry if like things are falling out or whatever. And these are his perler bead creations also with a lid. He has Pokemon cards and his little gecko bot. So I'm just going to put that on top of the Pokemon cards. And now all the stuff that's left on the ground is just stuff that from the Lego bricks that were falling apart from the, uh, you know, some of his old Lego creations. Those don't need to stay there. Um, and any gar garbage that is kind of piled up, we can now see because as we were putting our stuff back on the shelves, we were able to focus on the items that we actually like and use and Eli wanted to keep in his room. Everything else that's remaining is clutter and we don't have to keep it, we don't have to worry about it. So now we're just gonna clean that up put the Lego bricks back where they belong in the playroom. All the remaining stuff is garbage and we will toss it and now his room is all clean and put together. And I am so relieved because now his shelving doesn't look cluttered. Love what you see? Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Wednesday.